Hey everyone, so for today's video I have got a full face of drugstore first impressions and I've never done a full face of something or full face of a certain brand or a first impression sort of video ever on my channel before and I've always wanted to do one and I'm so happy I finally got around to filming one of these videos as I see them quite a lot around YouTube and I really just wanted to give my honest opinion on products that I've never ever tried before. This is actually the final result of this makeup look. To be honest I didn't think it was going to go that well because where I had no idea of what sort of makeup look I was going for I literally went into Superdrug, picked up a load of products that I'd never seen before, never tried before and I've just tried to like make it work. If you do enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future or you want me to do like one branded makeup tutorials or more first impressions video make sure to give it a big thumbs up as I'll definitely do more. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and without further ado let's get started. So I've got two products here that I'm going to be starting off with and they're both by NYX. So you never tried NYX makeup before and I've heard loads of good things about it like especially on like YouTube and everything. Both kind of classed as like primers. Um, so this one is a pore filler and it's supposed to like make your skin feel really smooth and obviously reduce the look of pores on your skin. And this one is a liquid illuminator and I absolutely love having really dewy fresh makeup. Um, which I say that but I actually bought a matte foundation and I bought that because I wanted to try something different and just to see how it works with my skin and just see if I liked it basically but even though this is an illuminator I just wanted to see if this would work. I thought the product was going to come out white for some reason probably because of the packaging but it's actually like this peachy sort of like colour that's the best way to describe it. Looks like the Benefit Professional. If you've ever tried that, it basically looks like that. So I'm gonna pop that all over my face, basically where I'm gonna be putting a lot of the foundation. Blend out with my fingertips, as that's the easiest way. Like oh my gosh it's made my skin feel so soft which I think is nice because having like a soft sort of like base before you put like foundation or like BB cream on I feel like it makes it easier to apply it can't really tell if it's minimized any like pores but I guess we'll see when I like put the foundation on so now I'm going to be going on to the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator I'm going to apply this on the areas where you basically want a nice highlight, so my cheekbones, tip of my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow. Let's just apply this. I'm going to put it on with my fingertips. Whoa, that's so pigmented. I'm not entirely sure how much you're supposed to put on of this, but I'll just kind of like roughly guess. It's really nice because it's got this like really pretty, like almost like coppery pink tint I think I put a little bit too much on oh my gosh like if you want a super pigmented bright highlight then I would get this product <laughs> but I'm guessing hopefully when you put like BB cream or foundation on top it should just give off like a natural sort of glow with not so much like colour okay so I'm going to start on foundation and I'm going to be using the fit me foundation and this is the matte plus poreless and this is in the shade 115 ivory if it's just me but i find it so difficult to match foundation to my skin tone like i just find it so difficult like, i'll be sat in like super drug for like a good half an hour like putting the foundation testers on my skin just to see if it actually suits me i've heard like good and bad things about this foundation so i have no clue how it's going to be and if I like it because I'm not even like a massive fan of like matte finishes anyway so this could be very interesting. I've got a damp beauty blender and this is the Real Techniques one which is what I think I'm going to use to blend it out. I'm just going to start off quite lightly because I don't know what the coverage is like. Let's just start blending and see how this goes. Oh I'm really nervous for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I've never really properly worn foundation before. Like, I've never worn like this high coverage before. Hopefully, when I go onto concealer, I can make it a little bit more lighter. Once I've blended it in like quite a lot, 
it doesn't look too bad. I feel like I could go a shade lighter, definitely. I feel like the reason why I never bought matte foundations and like really high coverage foundations is because where my skin is quite like dry, I have certain like dry patches like around my nose and my eyebrows, like I feel like heavy coverage foundations like this like really bring out the dry patches on my skin. I don't know if that's just me. I wouldn't say this does like amazing with proper like covering up everything, but for me, this is pretty amazing. And also with no concealer on, that's pretty good, so really really like it so now i'm going to be going on to concealer but i picked up the collection illuminating touch brightening concealer and i believe you just twist this Let's see how this goes i'm just going to do triangles under my eyes okay that's not too bad for some reason it looked not as pale when i put it on my hand now going to put it on my chin, nose, blend this out. I feel like this concealer is pretty good coverage. It's blending so well. Some concealers that I've tried before have gone like really streaky or they go really cakey and again with my dry skin it like really brings out like the dry patches but this is blending better than I thought it would. Consistency is quite thick, I must say. It's not extremely lightweight. Okay, so I blended that as much as possible. So now we're gonna set everything in place. So for powder, I'm gonna be using the NYX HD Finishing Powder. And I've heard some really good things about this on YouTube. Basically put this all over my face just to set everything why but this feels super smooth very nice sheen sort of like finish to your skin it was applying to my skin really really nicely I really really like it so far and hopefully it will keep my makeup in place I'm gonna be going on to eyes and I'm super excited to work with some different eyeshadows that I've never tried before the revolution ultra eyeshadows palette and this is classed as the flawless matte palette we use like these purple Sort of shades i just realized i forgot to prime my eyes before putting the eyeshadow on this will just hopefully get rid of like the veins on my eyelids just so they don't like show through so i'm going to use that concealer that i just used for on my eyelids i usually apply eyeshadow with tape as it also like stops like the fallout going onto like your under eye but i'm not using tape today so i'm not really sure how this is gonna look because also it helps with like a nice clean cut. I'm not really sure why, but the eyeshadows have become like a little bit patchy. Like it's really strange, like it's not blending in like some places. I've tried blending as much as I can. And once I've like put some mascara on, I'll do like a little bit of smoking out on like my bottom lash line. Using the 17 long lash lengthen and lasts all day mascara. And this is apparently new. It's apparently supposed to like volumize your eyelashes a lot and make them look a lot longer. It has volumized my eyelashes, but it's a shame it is quite clumpy. I like it when mascaras really like separate your eyelashes and make them look very like long, but there's like lots of them. Really strange, the mascaras worked a lot better on my lower lashes. Like it's definitely separated them much better. It's not like very clumpy. There's definitely something missing and that is my eyebrows. Not that I do my eyebrows really dark anyway. Um, but I feel like they definitely do need a little bit of filling in. Professional Eyebrow Pencil by Rimmel London. And it's in the shade... What shade is this in? 002 Hazel. This is like the nearest I could get to like my eyebrow shade. And I've actually never used an eyebrow pencil before. I've used only like powder. I'm gonna like lightly outline them and then just fill in like any spaces where it needs to have some eyebrow products in it. Okay, that's one eyebrow done. Luckily the shade matches my natural like eyebrow color, which I'm really happy about as I didn't think it would match. It's super pigmented. I thought you would have to press really hard to get like much product out, but so far it's been really, really good. And it's really cool because it's got like a little brush 
at the end for like it's lid. Now I'm going to be contouring with this Collection Precision Contouring Stick and never tried any of Collection's contouring sticks before, didn't even know they did them but I saw this in Superdrug and I thought it looked pretty cool and I never tried a contouring stick before so this could be very interesting to try out. I'm not 100% sure how to like do contour like professionally. I'm going to put it below my cheekbone, forehead, nose. I mean it's applying really well, it's very like creamy I would like describe it as. Okay so that will do for now. I'm going to get something to blend this out with. It's not like a too dramatic contour, it's quite natural, which is what I like. It's not like a really pigmented contour stick. What's so good is that this contour stick is like £3.99 or £3, I'm not really sure, one of those, but super affordable. So next for highlighter, Revolution Ultra Sculpt and Contour. I didn't think it was going to be that pigmented and I forgot to say I actually have another highlighter to try out because I bought two um, because I'd never seen that shade before I'll explain in a minute but I am so impressed by that revolution one I can't believe how pigmented it is like and for the second highlighter that I picked up and it was this MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter I actually have tried this highlighter before but in a different shade. I tried it in Pink Shimmer. It's in the shade Iridescent Gold and it just looked so pretty and I couldn't just not pick it up. Like, I just love what it looks like. It's got like undertones of gold in it. This would be the perfect highlighter if you had a bit of a tan. I finished applying the MUA and Dress Your Skin Shim Highlighter. I absolutely love it. These highlighters are very different. One, because this one's a little bit more natural, not as pigmented and it's also got undertones of gold in it this one's overall very shimmery and obviously extremely pigmented okay so the very last makeup item that I'm going to be applying onto my face is the L'Oreal lip paint and these are matte lip paints and I believe they are new to L'Oreal's like collection I'm not a hundred percent sure but I actually kindly got sent this and a different shade by L'Oreal so thank you for sending them over I'm so impatient about trying these out but obviously I haven't tried it out yet so I'm not really sure what it's going to be like on me but it looks like a really pretty colour so I'm excited. Okay, so I have an idea because I know this is going to be like really pigmented, like a bit too pink for me. I'm going to pop some on my fingertip and just lightly dab it on because I only want like a little bit of colour because where my eyes are very dramatic, I especially love the packaging of these L'Oreal lip paints. I feel like they're just really simple and cute and just like very different. I've never seen anything like this before. Really nice matte finish. Yeah. And I did as best as I could to make it look a little bit presentable, but. I'm actually really really happy with it and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and that will let me know that you guys maybe want to see more first impressions videos or maybe like first impressions of certain like makeup brands as I can definitely do more of them. If you've got some like thoughts and ideas of like certain makeup products. If you're new to my channel and you've never seen my face before make sure to subscribe. I'd really really appreciate that. I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are in the world and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video.